Hi guys! Welcome to Educating Shani. I'm Shani and I'm recovering from an eating disorder. Hi Shani! Hi! So, um, I did not vlog today <laughs> at all. Um, I had a really rough day mentally and I just wasn't feeling up to filming anything because there really was not much to film. I just have been recovering and resting. So, I don't know, it just was a boring day for you. Um, but, <sighs> just thought I would make a video anyway, check in and talk about some thoughts that have been on my mind. Okay, so the first thing I wanna say is thank you a billion times over for all of you who have been making videos about me there have been quite a few of you doing that and it just means the world and some of you do multiple ones and it means even more and I just like I'm overwhelmed with the love and support I never in my life thought that one day somebody who I've never even met in person would be making a video about me and putting it on YouTube how freaking cool is that come on um so I love you all for it thank you all for it uh, I wanted to give a, another thank you also to um, Alexandria, Alexandria Dawn is her YouTube channel and I will link it below. Um, she's been making a video like every day for me, sometimes more than that, um, pretty much every day anyway. And she made a video the other day that really made me cry and it was so sweet because she just started off by doing what she's been doing for a while, which is telling me she loves me and she believes in me and she's praying for me and worried for me and all that kind of stuff and then she said so you guys let's all just say a prayer for Shani and I thought she meant oh yeah so everyone say a prayer for Shani but then she closed her eyes and said a prayer on the video about me and it broke my heart in a good way into a million pieces and I just teared up and when she was done with the prayer and she said amen, I said amen out loud. <laughs> it just was the sweetest thing and she's really brave to do that because unfortunately um, it's, it's considered a little taboo to talk about your belief in God on YouTube. Like you get a lot of backlash for it, you get a lot of people wanting to argue whether or not God is real and all that stuff. I've always tried to be really respectful of everybody's beliefs and in return I just hope that um, everyone can be respectful of my beliefs as well. So, but anyway, Alexandria, I just want you to know that that really meant a lot to me. You guys all mean a lot to me. All of your videos and all of your thoughts and prayers and gifts and messages and everything. So, I love you all. Thank you again for everything and I love you. So, okay. So, the other thing I want to talk about is that I've been feeling really, really, um, sad, I guess. I've been feeling really sad because I had a feeling this would happen and it most certainly is. I feel like a friend of mine, a good friend, one of my best friends in the whole world has died. And that friend is bulimia. And it really does become like another person or like another being, I guess, in your life. And when you stop doing it, you don't just lose the addiction or the, the habit or whatever you want to call it, but you lose something that was there for you through every hard time that you went through. And as awful as that, as that sounds, it's true. It was my comfort through every single hard thing that I've ever been through in my life. And, you know, I made a video a long time ago about like thanking my eating disorder, you know, maybe looking at it at a different way. Like, hey, thank you for getting me through the hard times. Thank you for being something that I could lean on when I had absolutely nothing else and no one else to lean on in those really hard moments. Like, thank you for that, but I don't need you anymore type of a video. Um, but this feels kind of more like, I miss you, come back. 
It just makes me feel really sad. Um, I was telling Danny the other day, the other thing that I want to talk about, excuse me. Mmm. That's a mukbang. Mukbang? 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 The crap are those videos called where people eat on camera? What is that called? Anyway, I know some of you will tell me blow. I know you will. But I the other thing that I want to say. <laughs> I've been having this feeling lately and, and it's really getting in the way of my uh, focus to recover. And it's a feeling of like I've decided I'm not gonna be, I don't wanna be bulimic anymore. Like I've never really made that decision before because when I do make a decision, I stick to it. But I never really made that full decision to commit as much as I have been and to try my actual very best instead of just my, you know, my very best. Like my actual, true, deeply hard, very best to beat it. Um, but I've been feeling like since I know, since I've made that decision, since I know in my mind that I'm never gonna be, that I'm not gonna be bulimic again, I'm not going to be as bad as I was or even close to that. I'm sure I will always have the thoughts. I'm sure I'll mess up here and there, but in general, I'm done being bulimic. And for me, that's sad and scary because you guys know how much I love food. And for some reason, I have it in my brain that if I'm not gonna be bulimic anymore, I can't eat anything I like anymore. Like, I can't eat a cheeseburger now, even though I love cheeseburgers, but I feel like if I eat one, I'll feel like I'm gonna have to purge. I can't eat cake, or if it's like bigger than like a tiny slice, you know? Like, like I feel like even drinking water and feeling full makes me scared and makes me uncomfortable, and I don't know. It just feels like I'm never going to be able to enjoy food again, ever, because all I can, all I feel like I can eat is just stuff that doesn't make me feel too guilty. And for me, it really, it's not just losing the friend of Ed, my eating disorder, but it also feels like I am losing food. That's so silly, but it's true. Like, you have to understand, I was telling Danny this earlier, this is going to sound creepy and weird, but... For as long as I can remember, really, I've always like looked forward to binging, obviously. That's why I kept doing it, because I loved it. Um, but it goes beyond that, like I would plan so far ahead what I was going to eat, when I was going to eat it, how much of it I was going to eat, like I used, like I have, you know, TV shows that I love or whatever, or there's holidays or whatever, where in my mind I'm thinking, okay, at that time, so like Thanksgiving is coming up, which means that I'm about to binge on some turkey and everything, potatoes and stuffing and green bean casserole and yams and gravy and, and the corn and all of the things. Like, and I will think of that a couple months before it even happens, sometimes I'll think about it all year. Like, that's what I get to eat on Thanksgiving. That's a good binge right there. Or like New Year's Eve, we always do crab in our family. That's tradition. We do king crab on New Year's Eve, and I'm actually not too worried about that one because it doesn't have very many calories, and it's actually pretty good for you. But it's those types of things. Like, I would plan ahead of time everything. Or in January, I watch Lost every January. I watch the whole series. I don't know why, maybe maybe because I get sick of the cold after Christmas and I'm craving like the beach and warmth and I don't know why, I just love that show. But it's like right now, I would already be planning what I'm going to binge and purge on when I watch Lost in January, like a month and a half away. <laughs> and now it's like, what do I have to look forward to? I have nothing. To look forward to food wise because I'm gonna be stuck for the rest of my life 
eating safe foods and I'm going to miss all of those foods that I feel like I can't eat and that might sound really silly to some of you and I bet a lot of you will understand and a lot of you have probably been through it as well. Like I just can't like see as I have to eat while I talk. I just cannot imagine my life without not just binging, but the foods that I eat. Like, like, I feel like I'm not giving up bulimia. I feel like I'm giving up food. And that sucks. Like, I don't know why this is so hard. Sometimes I wonder why God would give me an illness that has to do with something that I have to have to stay alive. Um, however, I know why, but my shallow thoughts before I think it through always think that in the beginning, like why would you give me an addiction to food, which is something I have to face every day or else I'll die, why? Like, what were you thinking? <laughs> but I know that it's going to, it's building who I am as a person. Everything I've already been through and fought through and survived through <laughs> has made me who I am today. And who knows, maybe this damn situation that I'm in right now is setting me up to somehow be a good mother someday. Maybe if I just keep going and keep trying and uh, then maybe I'll eventually get healthy enough to have a baby who knows or am I meant to die young anyway like I'm helping so many people and I'm becoming one of those people that you see where they are close to death and you know that but they have like the best attitude and they cheer people up and they make other people happy and they enjoy having love in their life and living through love and then all of a sudden they die and you look back and you're like wow they really made an impact on me i'm not trying to brag but that's what i feel like is starting to happen and that scares me like every person i've known that has died has been like the most wonderful good-hearted sweetest most influential in a good way person ever and it's like i swear I swear it's true. I don't know how to explain that. That probably did not make sense. But anyway, I'm just worried. Like, and if I am going to die, I know I'm going to die norm younger than I normally should. I've already prepared for that. I'm not stupid. Eating disorders take off many, 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 many years off of your life. So I'm already expecting to die a little bit younger than I sh would have probably. But then I get the voices kicking in like, well, if you're going to die anyway, why don't you enjoy the rest of your life and eat whatever the hell you want to eat? <sighs> Since I stopped binging and purging, my videos have been so effing boring. I don't know why you guys are still watching me. Like, it is so boring. I'm not upbeat, I'm not funny, I'm not who I used to be because I think before I would have something to look forward to every night, which was a binge and the food, which is all I want is food. And I knew on most of my videos, not all, I never lied, I never said that I went a day without it when I didn't, I never lied to you guys, but on those days where I kind of knew that I would do it that night. I would be in a great mood and I would be happy and I would be just in a great place because I would know, oh, I get to turn off the camera and go and binge on 10 burgers and it's gonna feel great. But now that I don't have that, like I don't have a vision, I guess, of the next time I'm going to enjoy food and that's killing me and that's making me the most depressed and sad and just dull and um, boring and just a bummer of a person and I don't want to be that I don't want to do that but 
I'm trying so hard every day to try and find that personality that I used to have and it's just not coming back. And I want to be making the videos that I used to make, the fun ones, the upbeat ones, and even if they were on a serious topic, I would make it upbeat. And sometimes I would just do funny ones or I would do topic ones where I can write and, and you know, prepare for it and really think things through and make the video really good and do a lot of fun editing and all that stuff. But I just have no energy and I also have no drive for anything, not just YouTube. I have no drive for anything. <laughs> like, I just feel like my life is over. <laughs> How stupid is that though? <sighs> for those of you out there that don't agree that this is a mental disorder, a mental disease, you are sorely mistaken, my friend. <laughs> Because if I could help this, I would. If I could get these thoughts out of my head, I would. If I could live happy, healthy life where I'm not constantly thinking about when my next binge will be and what I can eat and that I can eat whatever I want. And like that might sound so simple, but it's not. It's like the worst thing in the world to let go of it. And I just feel bummed. And I'm just trying to see that this is worth it. And sometimes I have these moments, a lot, <laughs> over the past little bit here, that it's just like I've already done the damage. So I might as well binge and purge and enjoy it. That being said, though, I have not binged and purged, not even once, since that one time that I slipped last week week ago? When was that? Something like that. So in the past, oh good heavens, how long has it been? I want to say it's been like 15, 16, 17, 18 days, something like that. I've only been jump purge once, which is incredible. So that will tell you. I'm telling you that because obviously I'm not giving up, <laughs> um, but it's hard. The only, this is the only thing I've chewed, been able to chew in the last two weeks. Because for a second you get the sensation that you're chewing, but you're not. It turns right to liquid. I have not chewed solid food in weeks, and it's driving me insane. Like I was watching Danny just eating a piece of bread earlier, like a roll. And I got so jealous. I'm like, can you go eat your roll somewhere else? Cause it's making me jealous. Like all I want to do is chew. You never know how much something means to you until you lose it, right? So there's one more thing, but. Okay, I'm gonna end this cause I'm just bumming myself out more and I'm probably bumming the crap out of you. Oh, I do want to say before I forget, Bethany, who gave me that awesome gift. When did you see that video yesterday? Two days ago, I think. Um. I missed a little letter that she had put in it. I missed that, but Bethany, just so you know, I did see it, I found it. She left me a lovely magnet that's on my fridge over there and it says, never, never, never give up. And I love it, so thank you so much for that and for the sweet card and the letter and your and for your sweet words. Like you just, you're the best and I'm sorry I missed that on camera. Um, yeah, so guys, again, <laughs> I need your prayers um, and if you don't pray that's okay I won't judge you for it um, give me what you can send me some good thoughts send me some good vibes um, because I'm having very sensical is that the word sensible sensical let me finish the sentence and then we'll figure it out I'm having very sensical suicide thoughts lately because I really just don't feel like I'm ever gonna enjoy life again without food. And I know many of you are screaming at the cam at the video right now being like, Shannon, you can eat whatever you want. It's about portions. It's about how often you eat it, blah, 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 blah. I know, but it's just not that easy for me because those are all foods I don't feel like I can keep down. And I seriously feel like 
my best friend died. That's seriously what I feel like. You're welcome. Okay, so thank you for those of you who are already praying for me and sending me good thoughts and vibes. I'm feeling it. Um, it's what's keeping me going right now along with my husband and my family and God, of course, and I'm surrounded and so blessed to have so many people behind me right now. Um, and I'm just getting to the point of humbling myself enough to actually ask specifically for what, what I need from you guys, which is so much prayer and so much encouragement and keep making videos for me if you do that keep on sending me stuff even if I don't respond I'm sorry that's just an anxiety thing that I'm working on but every little letter every little message every little comment every little thing keeps me going and I need it badly right now It just feels scary to feel like you're never going to be able to have something that you loved so much. Even though it was horrible for me, I loved it. <sighs> so just know that I'm extremely, extremely grateful for all of you. I'm not sure where I would be without you. Um, and my family, and I really am super blessed to have you guys and to have such a huge team of people behind me, so keep sending it, please. Um, don't give up on me, don't give up on my channel. Thank you for all of you who are helping it grow. Thank you to, um, Alice, and you know who you are, who has been my little warrior princess for me and she especially on the day in the life of the bulimic video where there's so many horrible comments and a lot of questions and she still still to this day goes on there and finds questions or finds mean comments and she responds to them and she stands up for me in a very loving and respectful way which is what i want um just know that again i told you this months ago but it's been a while just know that i still see it all the time and thank you for doing that. Um, and don't worry if they get mad at you. I see it. I see everything you say. And some of them are like, why are you even, what, who are you? What do you have to do with this? She's my agent. That's who she is, okay? She is incredible. And she's like my YouTube agent angel person that stands up for me and does it in a loving way shanny way you know because she's like that too she's loving and sweet and yeah so i love her and i love all of you it would take forever if i went down the whole list but okay i'm gonna go eat some soup yay and some more jello and a boost drink with all the nutrients -ness. And I'm going to watch a Christmas movie and I'm going to go to sleep. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching this, guys. I love you with all of my heart. And remember forever and always that you are beautiful, you are worth it, and I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye! That was too high again. I always do that. <laughs>